The year is 2016. Fanboy war is at its peak. It's a monster. All right, and the game award for game of the year goes to No Man's Sky. <laughs> yes, I was an Xbox guy. In 2016, Kojima got his heroes welcome. Me an Xbox fanboy, I didn't, I didn't care. You know, totally didn't, didn't give a fuck. The thing is, the trailers were actually weird and I never really was a fan of Hideo Kojima's work mainly because I never played it um, so I actually wasn't even that interested to begin with uh, so when the game came out it wasn't even, I overlooked it, I just didn't really care for its release um, but instead of just not caring I decided to have a personal beef with it uh, soon after that I went for a shower Touched some grass um, and realised that console wars are stupid because they are pieces of plastic made by a corporation who don't know my name. Uh, this led me to just kind of, I actually got a PlayStation 4 uh, and a PC and I had every, uh, every platform. Basically every single one of my criticisms towards the game was almost completely invalid. I had no real footage of the game, I never really, I never ever touched it until in 2020 during the COVID lockdown, I purchased it. First impressions after playing the first two hours was... I hated it. And it was because it was missing one vital thing in my games. Carnage. Surely I'll, I'll get better. Can you buy that? Ninja! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, the poor boy. God bless America! Death Stranding was none of these games. Waking from a rest and putting on my trusty Bridges cap with no bad intention in sight, no killing, no explosions, and no griefing. I'd get my orders, get in my bike, plot my route. I'd come across different structures that actual people had built and just feeling that appreciation because now I don't have to build it. The feeling of trekking to a location while taking a route you really haven't took before is intense. One wrong turn and your order could be at worst completely destroyed or you just lose the S rank which is very important. The sights, the graphics, the audio design, it's all so well put together. It wasn't love at first sight, it wasn't blind worship either, it was merely a shift in perspective. 
It truly is one of the most relaxing experiences I've ever had in a game. While holding on to that challenge factor, finding a way around an obstacle and seeing your destination is always rewarding. This perfectly segments into one of my favourite parts about the video. The whole reason I kind of wanted to make it was because of this funny little thing that happened where a song from the game, which is my favourite song from the game, from Low Roar, is called I'll Keep Coming. It's just a funny wee memory when I was in the car and I was talking about how I really liked the song and um, I never even noticed the kind of lyrics in that, I just really liked the sound. Um, but she pointed out to me that the whole song was kind of about coming around and then there's a lyric in it called Soon I'll Come Around. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of crazy that the lyric was kind of my whole situation. It was just a funny wee thing, it's a good wee memory. But uh, that kind of leads on perfectly to one of my favourite parts of Death Stranding, which is the band Low Roar. The main artist for the whole game, his music is played throughout the whole game, many different levels. Pretty much every single one of his songs I absolutely adore including uh, The Machine, which is the best segment in a song I think I've ever seen in my thought. So... The lead artist for the band Ryan sadly passed away in 2022, but if somehow you could know that his music was very touching to me, it's very beautiful, and he made the experience of Death Stranding as good as it ever could be. So, big thank you to Ryan. Rest in peace. The one incredibly annoying thing about it, and it's not even annoying, it's actually a good thing for the developers, is the fact that I'm like 60 hours into a playthrough and I'm still experiencing new things, I'm still getting new mechanics through my way, I can't actually just have one set path, one set uh, tactic that works every time, I have to keep on switching it up, things like extreme weather and toxic environments, and then I need to then account for having a mask, have to account for uh, if I wear the mask too long, my battery can get drained, I need to account for having a thermal pod or my stamina will get drained in extreme weather. Things like that. It keeps on innovating after crazy amounts of hours. I'm used to games where I, in the first 5-10 to 10 hours, I've got the mechanics essentially down and I can play the same way all the way to the end. Uh, that's my kind of game, always has been. Games like, like Halo, Call of Duty, think like old school games that just have this kind of one-size-fits-all kind of mechanics so it's cool to have a game where I constantly need to progress it truly feels like you can never let your foot off the gas as soon as you take a route or an order for granted you could slip and mess it all up, I've done it plenty of times But that's kind of the beauty of it all. You've got to take your time and react in the moment. You've got to plan ahead, but sometimes your your route, whatever, it could go wrong. So you have to adjust on the fly. You can never take just that wee slope for granted. But that's the beauty of it. It's a game where you're very much in the moment the whole time. I love that so much. Can we also just take a second to appreciate something that really shouldn't have to be appreciated, but there's absolutely zero microtransaction and it was a full game on launch. There's been no up well, no like story or DLC updates. It's a full game from start to finish. And to end, I want to just talk about some of the personal things that I've gained from playing the game. It might sound about out there, talking about things I've gained from playing a fucking video game, but I have actually gained a lot of things from it. The first one, and my favourite one, is the hiking hobby. I absolutely love to go hiking now. I never really partook in stuff like that beforehand. And um, the first proper hike that I went up, I actually was listening to his uh, low roar as I was going up it. So that was kind of cool. And I also built something at the top uh, with my girlfriend. Uh, and I'll never tell you what it is because fuck you, it's a surprise and it's just us that have to know about it. <laughs> it also, well, it's not really something I've gained, it's it's not really a lesson, it's something that's kind of obvious but 
one thing that I love that it prioritises is making the small things matter. Um, it's, a, it's a big bombastic story, it's out there, it's very confusing, but at the soul of the game it's always about doing one good deed for yourself maybe, but you're still helping hundreds of people. You could build a ladder that you could just think in the moment is going to help you, but 24 hours from building that ladder you've helped 60 people. So it's that, I like that, just the wee small things that you do, ma. And to end with a personal story. Um, so, close after playing Death Stranding, when I went for like my first hike, the whole, that, that week I was actually scheduled to have a fight, uh, was like a kickboxing fight, and I was very stressed about it. Uh, I couldn't really take two settings to like just calm myself down, I was constantly in overdrive mode, like any time I tried to enjoy myself. I would be thinking about that, and I don't know, it's 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 cool if that's what you want to do, but after a while I realised that it's not really me, I don't know, it's, it wasn't me, but one thing about Death Stranding that I liked is that it gave me the idea of the hike, and then that hike actually calmed me down so much, it was such a nice day, building, the, building a restructure at the very top of a mountain, it was very relaxing. So yeah, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, I hope if you haven't played Death Stranding before that you go and do it, and if you have, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. The game is just very inspirational, the story is very inspirational, it's about coming together and getting through hard times. You've got to respect that. Big up Hideo Kojima. Uh, aye, keep on keeping on. Goodbye.